So I wanted to show you guys how to set your work plane in Tinkercad so that it matches the build plate of our 3D printer. So this is what the work plane is. This is where you add your shapes and you design something. So let's say I drag a box onto this. I'm just trying to show you an example. And see how my box is bigger than my work plane? That means I'm not going to be able to print this. Of course, part of that was that. So if my box isn't all the way on my work plane, I'm not going to be able to print it. So if it's hanging off of my work plane or way too big for my work plane, I'm just not going to be able to print that object because it's too big for my printer. So I'm going to show you how to set your work plane so that it's the same size as our printer. So if you go to Edit Grid, So you're going down here to edit grid. Our 3D printer is 150 millimeters by 150 millimeters. So I want you to make sure that you're setting your work plane to that. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. It's actually 200 millimeters by 200 millimeters. But what the 150 by 150 gives us room to do is it gives us room to add our supports that we need to add when we print so that our print doesn't fall apart. So I want you to always set your work plane to 150 by 150. And then you know how big you can build. So now when I'm looking at this box, I know that I can go all the way up. to 150. Now, I don't really want my build always to be right at the edge, but remember we built in some extra space with that 200 by 200. We built in a little extra space, so we're okay to kind of keep it to the top. And then I also know up here, I can only go up here until 152. I don't want to go any higher than that. Okay? Same with out here. It's a square, so I can drag this out. to 150 as well, or whatever the case may be. So you always want to double check before you submit a build to print that it actually fits on your work plane. Another really important thing is to just make sure it's actually flush onto your work plane and that it's not somehow risen off the top. Sometimes I get objects that are floating off the top of the work plane. And you guys are just sending me the file, so there's nothing I can do to fix this. I can't print this because it's not sitting on the work plane. If it's not sitting on the work plane, I can't print it. So you always just want to make sure that your object is actually sitting snug on your work plane. So it should say zero at the bottom. And now I know it's sitting snug on my work plane. Okay? So if you have any questions about this or any other 3D objects, uh, you can make a consultation to meet with me um, and we will take a look at it. There is in the 3D printing folder on the library Schoology page, which I can show you. If you go to the Makerspace uh, folder in the library Schoology page and you go to the 3D printing folder, on this dashboard right here, there is an option to book a 3D printing consult with Ms. Shannon. If you click that, it'll take you to my bookings page and you can sign up for a 15 minute 3D print consult with me. It'll be a Google Meet and we can work through any issues that you might be having. So I hope that video was helpful and um, I hope you're having fun designing and printing in 3D. Thanks.